Hello, my beautiful Pisces. My name is Rena Wells, and I'm here to do your Astara reading, which is the spring equinox, which is happening this weekend. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and your North Node. So make sure that you look at all of those and take a look at all the videos so that you know, uh, get a good picture of your general reading. I am going to be doing things a little bit differently. This is um, using normal playing cards, which is what I started off with when I was just eight years old. So uh, this was, uh, uh, you're not going to find this anywhere else. This is an old gypsy uh, reading that I was taught when I was just a kid. So it's another one that I'm doing. If you do like this Pisces, please like and comment below if you'd like to keep seeing this on the channel. And my returning subscribers, so much love to you guys. Let's take a look. I want you guys to think about your person. Who is the masculine energy, the lighter energy, which is, and I don't want to say light and dark because it's, they're both beautiful as it is, but uh, we play in the cards with dark and light. As I'm doing this, we have two aces, so this is beautiful. Um, we... The lighter energy is usually masculine energy and the dark is the feminine. So think of your person, however you're watching us, and let's take a look. All right. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to be using, usually I use this to spell out your person's name, but because this is a general reading, Spirit told me to use the number seven. So that is what we are doing, and I'm combining it with another type of clarification tactic that I know using the number seven. So let's take a look. What is going on here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So if you guys want to know more about me, my stuff is down below. I can work in all energies. Um, if you want to join my mystery school, it's my soul tribe family. There's teachings. I'm teaching my membership to read tarot. Um, I have a lot of gifts. I know all divination tools. So I'm going to be, I'm putting that in there. I do weekly videos for that. We do bi-weekly calls. I have a bunch of workshops and activations and meditations in there. So a lot of people are very active in discussing things. I'm hoping that picks up, but um, yeah, there's a lot of teachings that I do and then you can ask me questions and get support on your healing journey. And if you'd like to do a coaching session with me, all that info is down below. Let's take a look. What is going on? We've got mass. Wow. Your masculine Pisces is really thinking of you. Wow. Pisces. Wow. You ain't thinking about your masculine very much, Pisces. You're, if you are thinking a lot, your masculine's thinking a lot about you. So if you've been feeling a little obsessed with your connection, Pisces, this is what's happening is because your masculine is obsessed with you right now. Your masculine is feeling high, divine, sexual union energies, okay? Divine feminine. Whew. You're leveling up. You may want to watch the Scorpio reading. What is going on with the water signs today? Um... You're, this masculine wants sexual union, okay? Pisces, you're leveling up out of some um, dishonest energy in your life. You're purifying your energy, okay? There is something dark that's mimicking as light that's been coming around you. There's massive changes happening, and you have two sevens, which are very holy numbers. The universe was created in seven days, according to God, right? But um, sevens are very magical numbers, and so... Uh, you've got two sevens here, uh, but you've got the lower realms of the sevens, the devil energy that masks as light, but you have the light as well. Massive changes are happening and you have two fours and foundations and working hard uh, passionately for your foundations. Wow, this is beautiful, Pisces. So your masculine is changing his money situation, financial situation, looking at career, realizing this isn't the career that they want. And real and, and the feminine energy, wow, is having a lot of passion for the masculine at this time. A lot of passion, okay? Um, you both are holding, the feminine is holding the passion, Okay. And the masculine is holding the, the divine love aspect. Uh, feminine energy is trying to really change the dark stuff in her environment right now. I feel the divine feminine in this situation is um, not seeing any third party situation too. So if you had a third party situation, it has ended is what I'm feeling because I'm not seeing it in the cards. We'll see if it pulls up during clarification. Um, but what I'm getting here is uh, this feminine is really purifying her vibration. Yeah. So is the masculine energy. He's purifying his vibration too. 
the feminine has brought a recognition into the union of what these darker energies are. And this, it's leveling up this masculine. This masculine is leveled up. This masculine, Pisces, has leveled up. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. This divine love here is really passionately about building new structures. Okay. Uh, really, um, th this is a big calling for you, Pisces. This twin flame or this high level soulmate connection is about the trailblazers building passionately new structures, temples. Okay. Um, like goddess temples, you know, back in the Egyptian days, it was like about the goddess temples. Um, this masculine is holding that divine love to build that for divine feminine. This is about building temples. This is about building new structure. This is about changing the system. Okay. This is about moving people out of COVID, out of the city center, moving them out. This masculine is building his money for this. Wow. This feminine is able to work in darker energies. This is what I'm getting. I don't think this divine feminine is dark. This feminine energy is purifying herself. Okay. What I was getting in Scorpio, it's a little bit different. Scorpio was that they, they're stuck in that place that they need to purify. But this feminine has been purifying and is able to alchemize dark and light. Okay. This masculine is really building. Yeah. building for family to heal family lineage okay and this feminine is has been healing her family lineage okay um yeah the betrayal of her family lineage the way the family has been this feminine has not had very much love in her life and wants this divine love and so she has put this this is a warrior this feminine is a warrior this feminine has been doing this work and is not backing down. And it has risen her masculine to a point where he has built some type of foundation to build for her now. So you guys are in separation, but listen, there is communication coming in. I'm seeing that very clearly. And this equinox is definitely pulling in um, some type of um, communication or change, okay? This feminine is passionately wanting, is having visions of uh her mission now are getting glimpses so if you've been having a lot of dream work a lot of um, dreams that you can't quite describe yet spirit says that's okay those images and things are integration uh from your pineal gland it's going to integrate and move into your world look at this holding the structure down to build structure again but from divine love passionately the masculine is holding the divine vision of divine love and the feminine, this is a beautiful contrast because as feminine is, is passionately wanting to build these things and having the vision for the mission and getting some downloads here, masculine is holding that divine love down, um, in a really big way. Okay. Um, that is being guided by God and knowing the darkness and, and this feminine is using the darkness to leverage because we they both have sevens, they both have sixes, they all they have fives, massive change, okay, in the 3D world, okay. They both have aces. There's a lot of numerology synchronicities that are happening here. Okay, we have two fours and foundations. We have two nines, okay, and they're both of opposite color. So this is showing me a mirrored uh, understanding. Do you guys see this? Nine feminine, nine masculine, four masculine four feminine six feminine six masculine seven feminine seven masculine five feminine five five masculine so the masculine is this masculine it's like a god let me tell you. this masculine can trailblaze and move very quickly it's almost like he gathers strength and then he takes the hell off and i feel this feminine is like um feeling that shift in a really big way and is now alchemizing and using the darker energies to leverage her to meet her masculine. Ooh, let's see what you guys have in common. Oh my God, Pisces, what's going on, Pisces? What up, Pisces? Let's see what's going on in common. These cards have to stay in particular order. So we're going to do this three times. We're going to see what energies you and your masculine have in common. Look at this. Nine, nine structures, building temples, building new communities, building homes for the poor, helping the poor, helping people who are less than you, 
moving, teaching people about healing, teaching people about their gifts. You guys, who are you? Who are you, Pisces? This is beautiful. The mission is coming in, you guys, with this equinox for Pisces, okay? Definitely, definitely, I'm feeling that very strong. Whatever is happening, Pisces, in your connection, it's leveling up to next level, okay? I'm dealing with some ancient souls here, really some ancient souls here, okay? The money is here, the, the love is here, and this is coming from the masculine is going to gift this to feminine, okay? There is something the masculine is very keeping secret from the divine feminine, yeah. Okay, so we do have third party that's coming in here. The feminine is thinking about the third party and we have it with the Joker. Now this Joker um, can be masculine or feminine energy. I put it in here as a wild card because Spirit told me to. I don't usually do that, but it's to show that this is a free will choice. So feminine, if you've been looking to dating, uh, I don't feel that's really true, but it may be that there was a karmic situation and you're wondering about what's going on with that. Is it gone? Is it there? Is it is it over? I'm feeling it's over. Okay, I feel this mask is just getting his ducks in a row is what I'm getting. So let's take a look here. What is going on? What else do they have in common spirit? Seven, seven. But this masculine is holding this down. This masculine is awakened to the connection. All right. I ain't gonna lie. This masculine is completely aware of what's going on. Okay. Um, keeps things to himself. He's a little quiet. All right. He's keeping it to himself. He's planning behind the scenes. He knows what he wants. He knows what he's doing. Okay. He's way, he can feel, yeah. Look at this masculine energy. Knowing the darkness that he was stuck in. Knowing the mental darkness that kept him away from this love. He loves this divine feminine. He loves this divine feminine. And he loves even her darkness. Okay. And he loves that she can alchemize darkness. This masculine is in love with this feminine. Okay. You can feel it. Whatever is happening, if you guys are having massive telepathy, can't stop thinking about your masculine is thinking about you. If you feel insane, it's not an obsession, guys. Twin flame obsession is different than regular obsession. It's just you're 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 in a balanced place and all of a sudden you just can't like it's just inundating in your mind <laughs> and you can't get it out. That's because you're highly psychic, right? You're feeling the energies out. Yeah. One more, guys. One more. Let's see what else you guys have in common. We're going to pull some oracles at the end. Wow. Four fours, guys. Um, so, yeah. If you guys please like this so far, please hit that like button. It helps my channel to grow. And it really helps the karmic energies to come back to me in a really positive way. And if you like this, please subscribe. Yeah. So, all the readings will be out by Saturday. Saturday is the equinox. So, Astara. let's see two twos it's about coming together this is about merging dark and light with these two okay building foundations passionately and merging the dark and the light alchemizing the dark this is what you guys came to do this is why i'm seeing you guys building structures because people don't know how to do that this cup this this is um merging dark and light and you can merge dark and light people like to keep dark and light separate but when you leverage the darkness into alchemy you create bigger temples you create bigger bigger structures you you have a bigger healing mission than most so these these people are very uh awakened here Whew. i feel the divine feminine is a little worried that you know is there still a passionate third party situation that's happening um, or it could be that the feminine may be, um, dealing with a third party situation. Okay. And it has something to do with passion. It has something to do with, um, yeah, attraction and passion. Okay. So whoever that is for there, it is here on the table. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's clarify. Let's take a look at this third party situation first, shall we? Let's look at it first. It is in the feminine energy, so, yeah, yeah, it's about, it's about um, a toxic karmic, very toxic, that's trapped in the lower realms, and that you know that this is a free will choice, so you're, you're wondering, Divine Feminine, about this, okay, um, you may not know, you will feel it, I feel that you've got to trust your intuition, Divine Feminine, 
I feel that you've been getting signs. And so Spirit is telling me you've been asking for signs. Spirit is saying, yes, your masculine has has moved into building a, a foundation of love here. I feel it's done. Okay. This masculine um, is holding a very strong grounded stance for his divine feminine. So even if the feminine has a karmic situation, if masculine is aware of it and is holding that foundation down. If it's the opposite way and it's a person that has a third party situation, it's it's pretty much done. It's a foundation of love that this masculine is trying to build now. So if there's any last uh, strings, you know, contracts, things that need to be signed, legal stuff, that's happening now with Divine Masculine. If he's got rid of the third party, okay? Um, let's get one more. Let's try this one more time. Clarify that spirit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. The money situation and coming together with money and finances um, to build that foundation away from third party situations. So if that's what you've been wondering, Pisces, that's what's happening in that situation. And I wasn't feeling that third party was here. This is the Holy Trinity again, okay? But a passionate spirit is bringing, you're feeling the passion of this Holy Trinity, Divine Feminine. You're feeling it, but you're wondering if it's still trapped in this third party passion that's happening and and spirit wants you to open up to the passion of this connection with your divine masculine because the masculine is already trying to pull money together pull a foundation together and pull things together this masculine is not doing this for third party it's over it's over okay and if it's divine feminine you've got to move on from karmic situations now okay all right Let's see what, oh, i got to keep these cards intact. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Divine Masculine is really, really, I want to do these together. This is about structure, holding, pulling money together, building the structures, building the goddess temples for the feminine, uh, wellness centers, whatever else. This is led by God, okay? We're going to do it this way. This is, sevens are all about holiness, okay? So, and change, it can be difficult change, but it's holy change, okay? This masculine is definitely, we're going to clarify this spirit. Wow. Love, 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 love. This masculine is awakened and is doing anything for this connection. Anything for this connection. Okay. This masculine is completely aware, pulling money together, building resources, informing family, talking about you, divine feminine. Okay. Uh, thinking about you nonstop. I'm very proud of you and the work that you have done, Divine Feminine. Holy Trinity is bringing in the abundance to the masculine. This masculine wants to gift you something. I feel like I said that earlier, did I not? This masculine has something for you. He's pulling everything. He's pulling all the stocks out, okay? He may have lost you and feels really bad about that, but there's something There's something here. This, um, mas this is all masculine energy. Do you see this? All masculine energy. This masculine is being led by God. Spirit has been talking about third party situations who is money hungry. Third party situations that are trying to mask as light. Who are money hungry. They have learned their lessons about this. Okay, so this third party stuff that we were clarifying here. Divine Femme, you don't have to worry. Okay. They're looking at the money situation here. Like, no, that was a gold digger. Gold digger who masked it as love. This masculine is completely aware of this, okay? Clarify those, please, spirit. The third party situation. Look, evil. Evil. Narcissistic. I can't. You got three. Three jacks in a row. Do you see that? Third party situation. This masculine is trying to bring through in your reading, Pisces. I know about this B-I-T-Z. <laughs> I know about the biatch, okay? I know about it masked it as I'm financially abundant, I'm a love, I'm blah, 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 I'm all of this. And it was a snake. And this masculine, God guided this masculine towards these changes. God brought in the abundance and said, this is what's happening. This masculine has completely ended it. Okay. So if you were wondering, Divine Feminine, it may be just a closing off of things. It's done. So there's no need to worry about it. you got to level up now. Okay. Divine Feminine. Yeah. You've been thinking about this, about your masculine and the passion. What did I say? You were thinking about this union in the in the eat in the depths of the darkness of, of hell of where they been you know in that unity of this third party you've been thinking about and you're wondering about the spirit is saying you have been wondering we have the passion about the passion of the masculine you're thinking about that it's done this is a snake masking as this this beautiful 
other party as money and the hearts and love and it's not it's not real it's not real this masculine's completely aware of it wow 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 this masculine is aware three jacks i can't make that up guys beautiful things happening in this so let's see foundations passionately feminine is feeling the passion of this grounding things are grounding monetary wise the money's coming in the passion is there yeah there's going to be a new um foundation that is being laid for you guys spirit is bringing that up with the equinox okay so there is something new uh, divine feminine you got to look at where your focus is now you're not focusing right now you're passionately feeling it but spirit wants you to get very serious about where your focus is what you're working on okay don't worry about third party stuff masculine is wanting to um he's gaining all the abundance for the sexual union okay um feeling very abundant in the sexual union wants to have sexual union with divine feminine all right, um, is feeling this new grounded path, knows that that's going to ground this. If you guys haven't had a sexual union, this is what masculine is desiring from Divine Feminine. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you have to passionately change your focus right now, okay? Um, you've got to get very serious about mission here. All right, you've got to level up. You've been alchemizing, you've been doing great. Now it's the time to level up and start looking at how you can serve. Ask Spirit how you can serve, okay? If that's creating a YouTube channel, if that's creating writing the book that you wanted, if that's learning more about your talents, if that's discovering more of your gifts, Spirit is like really encouraging you to do that. I save the best for last, the kings, okay? So here are the kings. This masculine is aware of the feminine's darkness, okay? Of where her focus needs to be, which is what we've been saying here. And is is loves her no matter what the feminine goes through, no matter what the feminine... Uh, anything loves the faults right loves everything about the divine feminine. this masculine is in love with the feminine light dark all that stuff wants to yeah and and this feminine is feeling the passion of wanting to build with this masculine wanting to build with the masculine because she's feeling the love from him in a very strong way she's hearing him telepathically she can feel the obsession um all of that telepathically it's really affecting at that love look at that He's loving her. He's bringing in the, he's bringing in and open up the new portals. This masculine is creating the pathway for the feminine. One more spirit. Yeah. Divine feminine right here is passionate about the masculine feelings. Give it, the feminine is working through the last little bit here. You just got to change your focus, divine feminine, because it's happening. Okay. It is happening here with your divine masculine. Look at that. You've got to look at the darkness here, okay? You've got to look at the truth of the situation. You've got to look at where your focus is. you just got to change your focus. But this is happening here with the spring equinox, okay, guys? Let's pull some oracles and see. Let me know how you like that, guys, how it's resonating for you. And if you like these readings, I will do them again on the channel. Spirit guided me to this today. I was sitting and humming and hawing and like, oh, I got to do a reading for Asgata. What is going on in spirit? I'm like, I don't want to do tarot. Should I do? Uh, I don't work with pendulums really. I know how to use pendulums, but I'm like, spirit's like, do the cards. I'm like, okay. All right, let's see. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. And North Node. Make sure you look at your North Node, guys. What is going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and North Node? What is going on for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Can I get some? Thank you. Woo. All right. Got quite a bit here, guys. Quite a bit here. So free yourself, okay? Both of you are freeing yourselves. You're feeling this pull, okay? Playfulness, unrequited love heart to heart conversation so there may have been a bit of rejection in the past this is why the the feminine energy was wondering about third party situation that's what i was feeling okay there may have been um a rejection in the past so you guys need to talk about this okay pisces this involves wedding this is what i was seeing this involves a marriage this involves foundation this involves mission work this involves bringing healing to the planet um this is a very potent reading um you guys have to keep it light and airy as the spring equinox comes you know whatever was unrequited to not keep this going in the past spirit is saying that it wasn't ready for this there had to be a leveling up that happened and um it's getting ready 
it's getting ready to talk about why it was unrequited together okay proceeding softly that just popped up so i'll take it um you've with the unrequited love that we're talking about and these heart-to-heart -heart conversations spirit is saying you gotta kind of just talk about this and get over the insecurities and just realize it just wasn't the right timing right it's, everything's about divine timing right and your masculine knows that pisces your masculine is completely awakened to this connection okay this is going to lead to marriage. That's the that's the last card that came out. That's the outcome. So first, you all both have to continue freeing yourself, purifying your vibration, healing, feeling this telepathy, the connection, the magnetic attraction that's happening. Keep it light. Don't get too bogged down by it. I know it can feel a little crazy when your masculine's all up in your head and this masculine's thinking about you a lot. Just keep proceeding softly. Keep moving through. Set those boundaries. What else? Other portals are opening up for Pisces. Sun, moon, and action. Thank you, spirit. And Venus and north node. Yeah, you guys are going to share yourself, okay? So this is so beautiful. Somebody's going to take action here, okay? I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. Somebody's going to communicate and take action, okay? We have exceeding your expectation. This is going to go beyond anything that you ever thought. Okay, for, for this union, for this masculine and feminine. You're going to be dwelling in truth and you're going to be sharing yourself as you proceed softly, okay? So there is a lot of portals opening up for you guys to get very honest about what this connection is, to talk about it, to heal it, to move slowly through things, to honor each other, to dwell in this truth of what it is together. This is really beautiful. This is a lot of new, beautiful vibrations that are coming for you, Pisces, okay? Let's get you some last oracle messages, and that will be your reading. What is going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node for Ostara, please. Thank you for the Spring Equinox. <sighs> this is really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. Yeah. See, there's some unfinished business. The all spirit is guiding. Two cards here for you, Pisces. This is a number four and a number ten. So foundations and ten again with cycles closing out. There's some unfinished business symphony that's happening here. This connection is never going to end. So both you and the masculine, both you and the feminine, whoever's watching, spirit is saying that this is very much an unfinished symphony. You've got to clean up your vibe. You got to, and I feel it's more of the feminine needs to do that. You're you're taking action, purifying it, so the masculine can come in, speak some truth, um, so you guys can start slowly and moving towards. It will end in marriage. This is a higher power connection. This is God leading this Pisces. All right. That is your reading. So much love, my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you love this, please like. It really helps my channel to grow. Please subscribe if you want to work with me. All that's down below. Hit me an email, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.